Dear Ivy, at what point were you confused? At what point did you think that it was a good idea to keep telling me your secrets and your private thoughts? At what point did you decide to continue to seek me out because of my emotional availability? When you knew your fiancé was suspicious of me? You knew. You knew I was madly in love with you. If you didn't know it before I told you, you're blind. And after I told you, you must have relished it. You knew I wanted you. I would have done anything you asked me to. I sat and listened quietly, attentively to you as you told me the story of how your last boyfriend abused you. You called me and wept because your current husband, then your boyfriend and soon to be your affianced, mistreated you. You called me one day in tears because of his cruelty. I wept with you. My fists clenched in rage that he treated you like that. You called him that asshole to my face repeatedly and, and over a course of months. I listened patiently, hanging on every word, only wanting to hold you in my arms and convince you how much better my love is. I was everything he never was. I loved you, heart and soul. On the train back from the airport, you called me to fill the void because that asshole was too busy to pick you up after a long journey. When you and I were having drinks after work, laughing and quoting poetry to each other, he would call and ask what time you would have his dinner ready. He still demanded the two of you split the rent 50-50. I bought you flowers. I left you little gifts at the office. I bought you dinner and drinks. I cooked my heart out to give you a romantic lunch in the park. You called me in the middle of the day just to say hello and share your successes and failures of the morning. We did everything that lovers do. I was such a fool. At what point did you discover that you could run to me because you knew I would support you, weep for you, laugh for you? At what point did you discover that I was dumb enough to love you? Dumb enough to let myself be your emotional and romantic anchor and then go home and keep his bed warm. You loved his bed. You told me. You shoved it in my face. And you twisted it like a knife the single time I stood up to you. You married him. You married the man you called that asshole. You had such dreams, such potential, such strength, such beauty. <laughs> for your blindness and stupidity, for marrying a man like that, you deserve to give up all of your dreams. You deserve to give them all up and move to the East Coast and, and raise the selfish brats that'll come from sharing and loving his bed that much. <laughs>